Thank you for returning to the Homestead Building Project series on uh, building the barn. Uh, we're going to be hanging the rails for the back sliding door, so stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is the Homestead Building Project series on continuing the saga of building this new barn, the original barn burnt down, on Friday the 13th back in April. Luckily it was wet outside so the fire didn't spread beyond the footprint of the barn. But we got some insurance money. We were able to build a boot new barn. It's better than before and we're going to hang the back doors today with this rail track system and these brackets. What I need to do is tap some holes up here in the header that I pre-installed and I'm going to be um, using a ratchet and ratcheting those bolts down to tighten these down and installing that um, track and the little trolleys that go in the track. So let's get busy. Using this bracket as my guide, I'm going to position it right here and tap a hole right there. I'm going to use this ratchet set that I got from a estate cleanup. This is a pretty cool set. Look at that. I just have to find a socket that size. So, aha! Uh -huh. It is a 14 millimeter, also known as a 916th. I'll use the long handled one. Nope. I'll use this one with an extender. Okay, here we go. You know, I gotta confess, I have never uh, had any experience with these kind of uh, doors or rack system before, so I'm learning as I go. I purchased the uh, elements of this build here from Lowe's. And I was able to get a 12 foot long rail for the back here. And it's the same rail that I'll be installing inside for my um, hay lift system. And that is an 8 foot rail. They were out of the 10 foot rails. Now I'm leaving that loose on purpose because I need to get the rack system in, in slid in there. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that in now. And then we'll uh, fasten the other two. away. Well, that worked out right nicely. Now I've got to go get the track the trolleys and put those in there. There's four trolleys and also there's some bottom pieces I bought for the doors. So let's go get those and we'll put them in place. All right here is the trolleys. We'll go ahead and put these two in place. <clears throat> there we 
we go. Okay, I'm gonna put these lag bolts through the trolley and get those in place. And I got one set for this door. There you go. And another set for this door. I just have to fabricate the doors and then we'll uh, drill holes to the tops of the doors and put little plates under them. I've got, it comes with the plates. And we'll just mount it right in place and level it out. And then I've got the bottom pieces, which are these little rollers. And the door uh, slides right through this and it keeps the door from swinging out away from the barn. So we just connect them right down here. They are bolted right here on each side of the door. They're just screwed in with uh, big screws on each side of the door. Uh, I've got to go down and buy the special screws for those at the local hardware store. While I'm in town, I'm going to go ahead and buy some material to build the door casing because this still has to be trimmed out. And then I have to put casement around the, each door and then also buy the material for the door themselves. So this is installed except for the bottom pieces. I'll have a better egress from the barn for the livestock which is much safer than what I had before. But those will be uh, tomorrow in another episode. This episode on the building uh, project series on the homestead is just installing the rack system for the hanging barn sliding barn doors for the barn. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this little adventure. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I still have some work to do on the inside of the barn and I'll be buying more material tomorrow as well uh, for trying to finish this beast off before the bad weather sets in. I do want to get the livestock uh, protected, especially when the pigs are going to be having babies because um, I'm going to try to have some time to build those um, farrowing pens for the sows but this project only for right now please uh, give subscribe give me a thumbs up leave a comment I like reading your comments you can follow me on social media I'm on Twitter Facebook Pinterest Reddit Google Plus and blogger and I'll see you guys in more videos bye bye